Okay, what I'll do is to just highlight issues in the course of line and the, your tutorial assignments and then just give you a couple of topics from the first lecture uh, that you can prepare for next week. Uh, so the course of line is online, so you should use it as a guide for the various topics you're going to get in the course and you have the nature of strategic management, looking at vision, mission, uh, we'll touch on that very briefly. Then the external assessment, looking at five forces, PESL, competitive profile matrix, external factor evaluation, the internal assessment. Then we look at some strategies in action, look at globalization and strategy. Then we look at implementation, um, business models, and we don't necessarily touch too heavily on strategy evaluation, which is 60-40, 60% exam, 40%. Um, would be your coursework. The text for David um, should be available, <coughs> excuse me, from the bookshop or online. So get a copy as soon as you can. You don't have to be 2018 or 2017. Any version um, will be appropriate that you can get your hands on. And then in terms of the tutorial assignments, tutorials are very critical for your success. So please get a copy of the tutorial outline that I assignments that I put up online. We begin next week forming groups and then from week four you have your first written assignment. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the quiz this year but you'll have a written assignment in week four, that 12, 13, 14 February, that week. Then there's a group case presentation. So from next week we put you in groups and give you cases for you to do in groups for case marks. You actually do a presentation in tutorials. Um, then we have essay in class followed by another written assignment, then another group case presentation, another written assignment, and your final group case. So we divide. Um, each group would have to do one case presentation, and uh, but we'll give you details about that in the tutorials next week. So please get a hold, download a copy of your tutorial outline and, and these are some sample questions we have here that you can practice um, in your time to be familiar with the type of questions you might get in the exam. Strategy is the three-step process of strategic management, which is strategy formulation, strategy implementation, and strategy evaluation. Right? That's a basic thing you need to understand. Three key phases in strategy of strategic management, which is strategy and policy. About 80% of the course will be centered around strategy formulation. 80% of the course will be here, um, and uh, the rest around strategy implementation. So if you look at the outline, you will realize that most of the, um, the concepts and tools and models will be centered and strategies will be in the formulation. But you should know that three-step process. The other things that are important, concept of vision, mission, which again from management, HR on marketing, everybody should be familiar with the concept of vision. So the Navy is right to the back. What is the vision? How does it differ from a mission? It's right. Yes. Sorry? Next to you, what how does the vision differ from a mission? The vision is no. But you said right, the vision is what you see for the future, what you want to become. And the mission is the mission is what you do to be able to get there. So you need to go back to these concepts of vision and mission. Um, the vessel opportunities looking at the external factors. The basic swap that we spoke about. There's some concepts that 
Oh, well, before I go ahead, I would urge you to go back to your basic introduction to management text or texts that deal with the environment of business, so simple passive analysis, the political, legal, economic, social, cultural factors, the competitive forces, these are things you can make a note, um, the PESL, the port of five forces, looking at the competitive forces within the environment, you should know those very well. As I said, I don't teach them over. Um, SWOT, basic structure and the use of a SWOT analysis, and um, those are things that you can do in your review. The language of gaining and sustaining competitive advantage, that's another concept you need to get yourself familiar with. Um, competitive advantage, how you gain a competitive advantage, how you sustain a competitive advantage. This is one concept you can put in your glossary for you to be knowledgeable about. These are terms that come up over and over again. And competitive strategy is another phrase you can put in your glossary. That competitive strategy is a key concept that you need to know in business strategy and policy. What I suggest you also do is anybody here never did, um, everybody here would have done accounts, anybody here never did accounts, financial management, who didn't do financial management here? It is something you don't have to do or something you haven't done. You don't have to do it. What's your degree? You didn't currently, what, what's your degree? Right, I know, right, I know tourism, right, students tend to have a number of courses, right? Um, uh, and then you, yours is banking and finance, right? Yeah. So, so if you are from those management streams, or degree streams, I suggest you spend some time, one, going back through your accounts, basic accounts, and also start to look on financial management, but particularly looking at financial ratios and financial ratio analysis. So all your ratios, net gross profit margin, net profit margin, current ratio, quick ratio, inventory turnover ratios, um, asset turnover ratios, um, earnings per share, price earnings ratios. So just go through the whole gamut of financial ratios. You can begin doing that now at the refresher, because I don't teach over ratios, we just do a refresher. Um, that if you didn't do ratio analysis, you really need to start to do it, to spend some time, and you know, take out a student who is a student of finance and see if they can assist you. So that's the point I'm making, folks, that financial management was a full semester course, and within it you would have done, um, look at financial ratio. So there's so many foundation courses or prerequisites coming in here that if I try to teach over all of them, that's all I will do a revision for the whole semester. So there's a lot of work you would, if, if you haven't done it or if you did it, then you have to do a lot of work on your own. And that's why I said no is the time you begin where intense study to make sure you keep on top of it. Now for students who have not done um, marketing, any marketing, basic marketing, introductory marketing text, you can get your hand on, um, like the electronic copies on the web, but you need to go back to the basic marketing concepts um, of the, the, the basic environment of business, your SWOT analysis, um, and the, the basic concepts of, of marketing. The, I think you would have touched on those strategies, the integration strategies, backward integration, forward integration, horizontal integration. So just go to refresh your memory on those basic concepts. There's one area that you wouldn't touch on in marketing, that is um, value chain analysis. So you'll spend some time on value chain analysis, but please make a note that you should begin to spend some time reading up on value chain analysis, which is going to be very, very critical um, to this course. Now, 
in preparation for next week, I want you to look up um, in the text and in, there in the notes um, the external factor evaluation matrix, the external factor evaluation matrix, the EFE. Right. That's in the text, the EFE, and secondly, the competitive profile matrix, the competitive profile matrix. Please read upon those two concepts. Um, so we'll be dealing with those in detail for next week's session. Which one? External factor evaluation matrix. We begin tutorials next week. If you're having any challenges in getting to tutorials, please send me an email, let me know. All right, any questions from this side? Just normally the sign up side. Any questions? Hit on, once you go into e-learning, hit on my name and the email address is here. Anybody, anybody comes to over here, any questions? Yes. Yes, so the group that will present you have the group members have to become the same to go. Any other questions? Any other questions that want to come to Richard, you're good? Now, final comments. There are two final comments. If you are not final year, you need, I suggest you speak to me before you leave. If you are not final year, speak to me before you leave. And I want to reiterate, folks, the time to begin study for this course intensely, I don't mean like reading, intensely is from now to the next six to seven weeks to be your most intense time of study. Right? That should be your most intense time of study. It is, and that is necessary for you to be able to become familiar with the concepts that will help you in your presentations that we're doing today. Have a nice day and I will see you in tutorials next week. Good morning, sir. Good. Let me close this up.